Hi everyone, myself Harsha, you are watching Harsha Trainings and in this today Pega video, I am going to explain you about the JSON data structure in the REST service in comparison with clipboard. So many people who are working on REST integration in Pega, so many people those who are mainly learning, they do not know the comparison of the JSON data structure with the clipboard structure. So when we don't know about this fact, then we will not be able to clearly understand how to create the data model and the property structure while we are designing the request or response model. So in order to give you a clear picture of this, let me explain you in detail how to interpret the JSON data structure in order to get the clipboard structure of data. So let's get on to our laptop to see this. But before we proceed forward, if you are the follower of our YouTube videos, don't forget to subscribe our channel. And if you're looking for Pega training, please call us on the below number that is displayed in this video. Now let's get on to our laptop. This looks good. See, let me explain you about JSON data structure. And here you go. I want this to be displayed a larger window. Everyone of you, you able to see? Everyone of you? Yes. You able to see? Okay, look at here. A JSON data structure when you come across, it looks like uh, some data in curling braces. Some data in curling braces. Otherwise, I will add it to the notepad. Why should I take it from somewhere? For example, I want to collect the details of address. Okay, curling brace open, curling brace end. And here you go. Now, what is this? You have address colon within this i am going to add one square brace within square brace i am adding again curling brace again curling brace here. and in the curling brace i am going to add the properties like door number colon some value okay what else street name okay okay like this i am giving two properties i have given you can give a number of properties no where is this notepad You see here now, here also same thing, but usually this will be in double quote, double quote, double quote, like this it looks like, but I am not using double quotes, seriously. And here, 456. okay like this you have uh, here also you should find double quotes okay see if you have a if you have an attribute i am going to compare json data structure with pega clipboard just for our better understand if you have an attribute with a value then this is single value property what is this single value property what about this one this is also single and if you find attributes with values enclosed in curling braces then that is page then that is page and and that is again enclosed i'm sorry i have to do like this i'm sorry and that is again enclosed within square braces anytime you see square braces what is that called as page list how many pages are there two pages Page list name is address, address of one, address of two, address of three, like this n number. So anytime when you look at a JSON data structure, you can easily understand it, clipboard structure, when you know about the attributes, curling brace, square brace and all. Simply speaking, an attribute with a value is single value property, a curling brace enclosed parameters are within page and square brace enclosed is page list understand everyone and see 
everything is been enclosed in curling brace overall means there is one page called top level primary page so here what will be there even though you don't see anything here definitely there should be something called primary under primary page i have a page list of address within address page list i have address of one address of two understand everyone clear so square brace is page list curling brace is page attribute with value is single value okay so this these are basic thing one should know about while you are dealing with prbc